Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of EV Unite. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Quick Bandit which is a removable front license plate holder specifically designed for either a Tesla Model 3 or a Model Y and it's made by a company called 1975 Creations. Now in this video I'm going to give you an overview of what the product is and then show you how easy it is to install on your Tesla. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're into electric vehicle content, then please consider subscribing for future videos. And at the end of the video, if you find any value in it, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing to note is that in many states, it's actually required by law to have a front license plate mounted on the front of your vehicle. Now, some of the options on the market require you to actually screw into the front bumper to mount it, or they'll have a double-sided adhesive that you can use to stick it onto your front bumper. Now, in the case of drilling into your bumper, of course, you're permanently adding holes. And if you use the double-sided adhesive, over time, if you ever go to remove that, you may actually peel the paint on your vehicle. So this product gives you an option where you can easily both mount the product easily and then uninstall it and remove it later if at some point you decide that you don't want it. So there are two main reasons that you may want a removable front license plate holder. Now the first reason might be that you are planning to move to a state that no longer requires a front license plate and you just want a temporary solution until you move. The second reason is you may not like the overall aesthetics of how a front license plate holder looks and this gives you the option to remove it, for example, for photos and videos. So now let's take a look at the mount itself. So you can see on the front here that are, there are four holes for your license plate to screw onto, and it comes with the hardware you need for that. And then on the back, there's this mechanism. Now you can see where my thumb is, there's a bar. And as you move that bar inwards and outwards, the four prongs allow you to clamp it to the front vent of your vehicle without the need of bolts or any sort of adhesive tape or anything like that. You can also see here on the side that there's a tamper-proof screw and that's going to make sure that the license plate holder is secure to your car so it won't fall off but it's also going to prevent any sort of theft. So the first step in the installation is just to take the four screws that come with it and you're going to put one in each corner to mount your license plate to the holder. In this case, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to be using a dummy license plate. Now, this license plate holder actually mounts to the vent on the front of your vehicle. And you can see here that there's a piece that runs directly down the center of your vehicle. And that actually is going to align with these V-shaped alignment features on the mount itself so that the license plate holder is perfectly centered to your car. So to install, all we're going to do is push it up against that center ridge. We're going to push down on this bar. That's going to lock it into place, and that's it. Just like that, the license plate holder is now secure to your car. And then the final step, we're going to go ahead and take the hex wrench that comes with it, and we're going to tighten this screw down. And this is just going to make sure that, one, it's nice and secure to the car, and we're gonna prevent anyone from being able to just quickly grab the license plate holder and run away with it. And there you go. And of course, if you ever wanna remove the front license plate, then all you gotta do is just loosen up this screw. You'll see on the back, it'll completely go flush. You can pull up on the bar and that's it. And then the license plate will remove pop right off from your vehicle. So overall, you can see that the product is super easy to both install and remove. And overall, the build quality is great. Um, this is something that looks like it's durable and it's gonna last a while. My only drawbacks to this product would be the price. So right now on the 1975 Creations website, this goes for $139. And I think that price is a little steep for this type of product only because it's an all plastic assembly. So all the parts in this are plastic and then there's just some hardware. Um, so $139 definitely seems a little high for what you're getting, but I do think that hopefully over time, the price will 
reduce as they start producing these in higher volumes. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Now, if you have any questions or comments, then definitely leave those in the comment section below. And if you found any value in the video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in more electric vehicle content, then definitely consider subscribing for future videos. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.